step-by-step -step guide to perfectly reverse cooked ravioli with balsamic vegetables. Hey there, foodies. I've got a brand new reverse cooking recipe for you. Now, you might be wondering what reverse cooking is and how it's different from conventional cooking. It's a technique that flips the cooking process on its head, instead of cooking the ingredients in the order you'd normally expect, you start with the last ingredient and work backwards. This helps to preserve the flavors and nutrients of each ingredient, resulting in a dish that's bursting with flavor and texture. And today, we're going to be showing you how to make a delicious and colorful dish using this amazing technique, reverse ravioli with balsamic vegetables. The dish combines the savory flavors of red pepper, the dahlia onion, garlic, and diced tomatoes, all cooked to perfection with a splash of balsamic vinegar and herbs de Provence. And instead of the usual cheese filling, we'll be mixing fresh ricotta with farfalle pasta to create a creamy and hearty base for our vegetables. So, get ready for a fun and flavorful ride as we take you through each step of this amazing recipe. Let's get cooking! But first, let's talk about the benefits of reverse cooking. First off, reverse cooking means cooking the ingredients in the reverse order of what you would usually do. So instead of adding the sauce to the cooked pasta, you cook the sauce first and then add the pasta. Now, you might be wondering why on earth you'd want to do that. Well, there are some serious benefits to reverse cooking. For one, it helps to retain the flavors of the ingredients much better. When you cook something conventionally, the flavors tend to get lost in the cooking process. But when you reverse cook, the ingredients get to marinate and mingle together in a way that creates a more flavorful dish overall. Reverse cooking also results in more even cooking and better texture. When you cook delicate foods like pasta and vegetables, they can easily become overcooked or undercooked. But with reverse cooking, you can ensure that each ingredient is cooked to perfection. Plus, by cooking the pasta in the sauce, it absorbs all the delicious flavors and becomes more flavorful and tender. So, if you're looking to take your cooking game to the next level, give reverse cooking a try. You might just be surprised at how much it elevates your dishes, especially when it comes to delicate ingredients like pasta and vegetables. Next, let's talk about the ingredients and preparation for this reverse ravioli with balsamic vegetables recipe. First up, we have whole wheat or vegan farfalle pasta, which is perfect for this dish because it holds the sauce and vegetables really well. We'll be using fresh ricotta to mix with the pasta, but you can also substitute firm tofu for a vegan version. Now let's move on to the vegetables. We have a red bell pepper that adds a pop of color and sweetness, a Vidalia onion that brings a milder flavor and a touch of sweetness, and garlic to add that aromatic touch. These veggies are cooked with olive oil, herbs de Provence, and diced tomatoes, and then topped with balsamic vinegar to create that tangy, slightly sweet flavor we all love. The combination of all these ingredients is what makes this dish so special. The pasta and ricotta provide a great base for the veggies to sit on, while the veggies themselves offer a mix of textures and flavors that complement each other perfectly. When it comes to preparation, we'll start by cooking the pasta according to the package directions and mixing it with the fresh ricotta while it's still warm. For the vegetables, we'll be using the reverse cooking method, which means we'll cook them low and slow. This method allows the veggies to retain their flavor, texture, and color better than conventional cooking methods. To start, we'll heat up some olive oil in a large skillet and add in the bell pepper and onion. We'll cook them until the onions start to caramelize, then add the garlic, herbs de Provence, diced tomatoes, balsamic vinegar, and just a dash of sugar. We'll then let it cook for a minute, making sure to stir occasionally to prevent sticking. Now it's time to bring it all together. Once your pasta and vegetables are cooked, it's time to combine them for the ultimate flavor explosion. Simply add your warm, creamy ricotta and farfalle pasta to a bowl, and top it off with your beautiful balsamic vegetables. As you dig in, you'll notice the tangy sweetness of the balsamic vinegar perfectly balances the savory flavors of the dish. The creamy ricotta adds a subtle richness to every bite, while the pasta and veggies provide the perfect texture. It's a truly satisfying and delicious meal that will have you coming back for more. So don't hesitate, give this reverse ravioli with balsamic vegetables a try and experience the amazing flavors for yourself. Now that our dish is complete, it's time to serve and enjoy. Simply dish out a portion of the ricotta farfalle onto a plate, and then top it off with the balsamic vegetable mixture. The vibrant colors of the red pepper and the dahlia onion are sure to make this dish a feast for the eyes, as well as the taste buds. 
Not only is this dish absolutely delicious, but it's also quite healthy. The use of whole wheat pasta and fresh vegetables means that you'll be getting a healthy dose of fiber, vitamins, and minerals with every bite. And the balsamic vinegar adds a tangy sweetness that really brings everything together. Bonus Recipe In this dish, fresh red pepper, the dahlia onion, and diced tomatoes come together with a healthy splash of balsamic vinegar and herbs de Provence to create a flavor explosion that you won't soon forget. And instead of traditional cheese, we're mixing fresh ricotta with farfalle pasta for a twist that's sure to delight. Ingredients 16 ounces Whole wheat or vegan farfalle pasta, or other chunky pasta. Half a cup fresh ricotta cheese, not low-fat, substitute firm tofu for a vegan dish. 1 tablespoon Olive oil 1 red bell pepper, cut into strips. 1 Vidalia onion, cut into large chunks. 3 cloves garlic, minced. 1 half teaspoon. Salt. 2 teaspoons. Herbs de Provence. 2 cans, 15 ounces. Each, diced tomatoes, drained. 3 tablespoon. Balsamic vinegar. Dash of sugar. Cooking instructions. To make this dish, start by cooking your pasta according to the package instructions. Once it's done, rinse it and return it to the pot, then add your fresh ricotta cheese and stir everything together until the pasta is evenly coated. Next, heat up some olive oil in a large skillet over medium heat. Add your sliced bell pepper and Vidalia onion, and cook them for about 6 minutes, or until the onions start to caramelize. Then, add your minced garlic, salt, and herbs de Provence, and stir everything together for about 30 seconds to combine the flavors. Now it's time to add your diced tomatoes and balsamic vinegar to the skillet. Just sprinkle in a dash of sugar to take the acidic edge down, then turn the heat down to medium low and cook everything for just one more minute. Finally, serve your pasta in a bowl and top it with your balsamic vegetable mixture. And there you have it, a delicious and healthy vegetarian pasta dish that's sure to impress. But don't be afraid to get creative, you could easily add cooked chicken or sausage to this recipe to make it even heartier. Give it a try today and enjoy. I highly encourage you to try making this dish yourself using the reverse cooking method. Not only is it a great way to elevate your cooking game, but it also yields better flavor retention, more even cooking, and better texture, especially for delicate foods like pasta and vegetables. So what are you waiting for? Head to the kitchen and give it a try. In conclusion, reverse cooking is a fantastic way to elevate your cooking game and achieve better results with delicate ingredients like pasta and vegetables. By cooking the vegetables first and then adding the pasta, you can ensure that everything is cooked to perfection and retains its texture and flavor. With this method, you can make impressive and delicious dishes like our reverse ravioli with balsamic vegetables. We hope you enjoyed watching this video and learned something new about reverse cooking. Don't forget to try making this recipe yourself and let us know how it turned out in the comments below. And if you want to see more recipes and cooking tips, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and happy cooking! Visit our website for best kitchen products and tools.